have we have a map selection. What map is it? Antigua Shipyard. Ooh, and that is a bit interesting. For Protoss, well, yes, I'm guessing fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I would probably try to do a like plus two blink sell yeah. all in. Yeah, I'm because too. there's so many ledges on this map. Yeah. You can blink into the main, snipe the queen, snipe some drones, and then just get out. Exactly. But I. It's also a very good game for the classic Immortal Sentry all in because of that really small area with uh, outside of a third and the natural. But there's I don't know. I don't really know. Well, the thing is, there's so much, so many nooks and crannies to hide in for the Protoss. Yeah. So the point is, with the th with the uh, the uh, the Sentry uh, Immortal push, then you can you can really force yourself against any type of wall in any type of uh, corner. So yes, it's good for that. And as you stated, though. Uh, my big biggest bet would be on Blink Stalkers because this is an excellent map for for blinking. Getting yeah. an observer and just blinking up all the ledges everywhere, sniping everything. I do have to ask, Bo, if you were to put a bet on one of these players taking this best of five, which one would it be? I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to have to be the guy saying I will. I want to vote for the still a bit underdog Jernstrom because. If he came back after this, turned this around, figured RMP out, and smashed him, it would be wonderful. Yeah. Now, the f I think it's still a little bit in RMP's favor. He showed very good gameplay in two first games. And the question is, what is Jarnstrom going to do now that would surprise him? Yeah. But right now, we are getting loaded up into the game. And I do believe that we have another game between RMP and Jernstrom happening yes. on MLG Antigua Shipyard. Right. That's MLG version of Antigua Shipyard. And uh, I've, I've done this many times now. Would you like to have the honors? Uh, I would like to. Uh, we have on the right side our dearly Protoss player. Give it up for RMP. Now we're just awaiting our dear crowd. Yes, we're waiting for the crowd. We have no, pressure, no pressure crowd. No pressure. Come on, just Cro give it a little is, bit is, shouting. Is this crowd pressure, peer pressure? Yes, there you go. There's a nice, there's a nice. And, uh, and it, right now we have at the left side our Zerg player who made a fantastic Ling, Bane Ling attack in the latest game. And now we see him spawning at the left side. Give it up for Jernstrom. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna wh while we're waiting for the the crowd to react. Um, actually, what's what's your prediction? What do you think? My prediction was well, I I, I would still like to bet on Jernstrom because it's nice to have the underdog smashing the the player that looked so strong uh, from the beginning. But what's your what what do you think? I do believe that if RMP can pull himself together, he might actually close this one out and this game. But what I'm actually more interested in is. I mean, this map has fixed cross-positional yeah. spawns, yeah. so there is a possi possibility for a Ling run by if he puts down his spawning pool right now. And RMP has gone for Nexus first all the games. He has actually. So the question is, are they going to read out? Do they really read into that so much? Uh, does Jernstrom have have that in mind? Um, I, it, there's so much to think about. I think Jernstrom actually has learned from the last game. He's putting down a 15 hatch. Yes, he has. That's perfect. He has a hatch coming down. The forge is actually coming down before Nexus for once. Yeah, and he needs to actually tag this little bit of drone on top of that probe right now because with the forge first, he could do some cannoning of his he own. He could do some cannoning very well. And the, the question is, is he going to figure this out? Because the spawning pool is very late. Yeah, I mean, he has a great possibility right now to do a lot of damage with just forcing out some uh, drones to get off the mineral line. Yeah. But I don't know. He seems to... I think he's running a little late on that now because that worker is the, it's circling, still circling around the natural, wanting Where to see the, the timing natural, of that yeah. one. And he, he must have figured out that there's a third base coming down. Yeah, I do believe so. But, I mean, he hasn't seen it, but he knows it's there. He Basically, because he he had his uh, probe on patrol move at the natural yeah. when that pro when that drone actually I'm sorry uh, moved out to that third location. Yeah, and actually uh, after scouting the main, there's no doubt in his mind that there's a third base down because he sees no extra tech. The spawning pool being very late, only workers. Then yes, there must be, and he scouted that just to make sure. And of course, there's the third base. Yeah, and now we see Jernstrom getting into RMP's main. Scouting out those double gases going down. 
everything quite standard as uh, as what I view right right now. Yeah, very standard so far. Um, we have uh, yeah gases coming down, the natural for RMP finishing up, and uh, he's uh, well blocked it off with the worker as you you're supposed to be. And uh, we're going to have to wait for a few minutes to see what's actually going to happen. Yeah, what I mean, they're actually the, going for. The early game of CVP is actually very very understandably quite dull. Yeah. Everyone wants to get up their worker count. Now we see Jernstrom doing a similar action right now as he did the last game, getting his first gas at around five minutes. Could he do the same thing? No, I'm thinking no. The point is he's now scared RMP. He's scared RMP very well and the problem for him the first few games was that he was a little too unsure. He built armies too, u too early, defensive armies which he he didn't really use for anything, so he was a little scared. The point is, I think that he's playing on the fact that he's turned the tables. RMP is now a little scared of any busts. He's going to play very carefully. Uh, he's going to play very safe. So the point is, Jernstrom already took advantage of that by skipping the spawning pool. Uh, he figured out that any economical advantage he might, he can take, he should yeah. as of right now because RMP is a little scared. I would yeah, be. RMP being our very, very good chess-like player with his uh, moves and yeah. commands. And we then on the other hand, we have Jernstrom seeing uh, the opportunity of aggression and taking it head on. And I I don't know. We see a Stargate going down right oh, now. Oh, Stargate coming down. I and the question is, is well, he's going to want to do a lot of pressure with it. And is it scouted? It's in the natural, but oh, the Overlord is... Oh, going to get scouted. He the hasn't Overlord reacted, is moving right away. He hasn't reacted with his uh, sentry at the natural right now. And the Overlord is just moving closer and closer. Yeah, so this is going to be scouted. And the question is, is it even worth building that one? I think so. Yeah, of he course. Want, he will want to have, the, uh, he will ha want to have some air units out to scout Jernstrom because... And it, since Jernstrom already proved that you really can't count on him shilling out. Yeah, right now Jernstrom not actually clicking on that Stargate to see if it's actually a Stargate or not. Now he sees it, and I think we're going to see an evil chamber get put down right away. Yeah, and even scouts that there's oh. a phoenix coming out. He actually already has an evil chamber, yes, getting, he has evil giving chambers. him the ability to put down spores right away. And he, oh, whoa, no, are these links going to miss that pylon? Can they see? Did they see the? They see the worker. Did he man actually man manage to see that one? They just scouted out the location of the pylon and they built the pylon right after that. Oh, that timing is, was insane. This is whole huge because right now RMP can actually do a timing push with Celots and Phoenixes, and oh, he needs to get this pylon. He needs to. He kill needs it to take right out now. that pylon and he really needs to get those links away from there. And oh, he's no! not looking at it. The question is. Is he going to move past the Celots on the way home? And he's going to see... He, he actually had a ling on... Uh, he actually had a ling on uh, the Watchtower scouting out those Celots in the middle. Oh, so he knows those. But I don't actually... Oh. He sees this, he should see the sellouts. He knows the sellouts. He sees that they're there. And now and the question is, what are you going to do? Right yeah. away. There's no, there's no way he can actually kill those sellouts with Starting that amount of links. production. Thirteen roaches. Thirteen roaches coming down. The, the roaches are of course not going to help against the Stargate, but they're really going to take out. They're really going to take out the sellouts. And the point is, with a lot of roaches, even if you're run down by air units, you can just counter attack. Do you know what just finished? What finished? A fleet beacon. Oh, no. Again? Oh, yeah. He's going, that, well, it proved very, very working uh, in the last game. So I think he decided that, well, this is the way to go. Yeah. And actually, right now, um, these roaches are going to be able to clean out all of those sellers very quickly. And uh, I'm thinking he should go for counter yeah. right away. And Jernstrom actually capitalizing on uh, what he has seen in the past games. Yeah. We have seen uh, 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 RMP actually getting... A bit low count on splash damage units, so he's getting those Hydras. Those Hydras being so, so good versus gateway units and air units, of course. And when he, when his plus two is finished, when his Hydra range is finished, I think he's just going to snipe that mothership down. He's going to snipe it very easily with those Hydras, depending on the position, and of course. But I yeah. think it's going to be quite easy to do for him. The question is, how long is RMP going to take before he starts pushing? RMP being quite a slow, methodical player, and with the last time, the last time he built uh, a mothership, it took him quite a while before he decided to to actually push push across the map. Yeah, and I I just think that for every second he doesn't push out, for every oh he's actually dropping a third. 
Oh, he's, yes, exactly. He's dropping a third. He's putting down gateways. Oh, As the usual standard mothership into third base. <laughs> this is this is really interesting. I mean, who does this? I don't know. Uh, RMP does this, and apparently, well, didn't he do this last time as well? Yeah, he did actually. And the point was, it didn't work out fir at first, but it did work out in the extension. Yeah, he, I mean, his follow-up was amazing with the carriers and the upgrades. And right now, his Templar Archives finished, giving him the possibility to move some Archons into the mix. Yeah, but there's a lot of roaches being made now. And the, the question is, I isn't there the going middle. to be... A, I'm hoping that there will be a push from Jernstrom. It seems like, yes, Jernstrom has decided that it's time to push across the map. He sees the air units. He figured, I have Hydras. I should be able to push and just crush RMP with this force right now. Because RMP is taking his third. He's waiting for his mothership there's yeah he doesn't have a large enough army to actually and stop I, this i usually say that roaches are pretty much dead weight in supply yeah but because they are so uh, ex uh, expensive in that supply but right now we see him having a 70 supply lead over rmp and this is actually huge this is giving huge. him uh, i mean he has nine hydras now popping out yeah. giving him the total of 18 hydras and 35 roaches this is actually this is a killing army yes, right now. Yes, Jernstrom is maxed out. So yeah. I'm not really sure what he's, he's waiting for. His last reinforcements. He's I got think his he's waiting with for him. his plus two. I think he's waiting. Yeah, it could be that he's just right waiting now for his he's plus moving two. Moving across the map, and here comes the large push. Nice. Jernstrom is really finding. He's really figuring RMP out, and he figured what to do. This is exactly what he did wrong in the first game. He didn't push. Yeah. He needs to put down a macro hatch though, because his queen energy is actually growing a bit high. But right now he's setting himself up for a nice. Nice big old yeah, plank. he's got two hatcheries going down, so I don't think that's a problem. And oh, oh there's he's got a good enough spread, I think, to really render no, that. But the overseer went down into oh, the, the vortex. He went down into the, the vortex, so he can't see the units as of right now. But he manages oh, to pick out those. And when these the units vortex. pop, when these units pop, they're going to be able to kill I those archons so, so quickly, so quickly, and. There's nothing to stop this push. There's so many units and for Yenstrom. And the ship goes down. This is absolutely amazing play from Yenstrom. He's just steamrolling RMP with yeah. such a good three-base timing push. He lost every possible problem. He From the first uh, game, he was a little unstable. He built too many forces. He didn't use them. He wasted some economy. Uh, in the la later stages of the second game, he had the same types of issues. And for the now, the fourth game, he decided, well, it's simple. I just macro up. I do a huge timing push with units that will counter what my enemy has, and I'll win. And here we see the GG from RMP, and it GG. gives us the fifth game. And it gives us a fifth game with an epic comeback from Jernstrom. This is absolutely insane. And right now, I'm going to start voting for Jernstrom. He this looks is, so strong. He, he seems like he's figuring his opponent out. I mean, yes. he's capitalizing on the strategies. He saw the early game with no splash damage. No. I mean, Hydra's so good units, but so fragile. And if there's no splash damage and you have the Roaches in front, yeah. which are a very good tanky type of unit, there's extremely good chance to just walk over Exactly. RMP. Exactly. Just walk it over. And the point was, he scouted all the air units. He noticed that uh, RMP can't have too massive of an, uh, a ground army, of course, with all, those, uh, all that to put into air and I'm guessing the point was he saw the mothership last game so well a few games ago so we figured there's probably ma a mothership behind this as well if I just mass up a lot of units include hydras in it to be able to take care of all these air units and just bring in a few overseers to be able to see the cloaked units there shouldn't be any problem and he read that absolutely correctly yeah and I mean hydras being such a good unit otherwise yeah. and I mean there were no there were no actual splash damage. No. To, the point I mean, was, like of course, of course, if you're going for a mothership, there's no way you can be able to get Colossus out at the same time. And if you do, they, that'll cost you too much army-wise. Yeah. And I mean, it seems like Jernstrom actually had just figured this match out. Yes. He just seemed to get RMP and get what he's doing. I mean, this isn't the standard Protoss. The standard no. Protoss would no. do a four-gate uh, robo into a third. Yeah. Or a Robo Immortal all in, or yeah. a Phoenix push. Exactly. And I mean, this is. I th think the point is, RMP has lost his element of surprise now. He yeah. did very well with his surprise. Uh, w he surprised Jernstrom with some a little unorthodox play in the first two matches, but Jernstrom has figured him out.